Hey, what's up guys? It's Curty Fox, and today we're going to be building a Minecraft cement mixer truck. So it's a red cab, it's actually based on the Mac, and it's just your typical cement mixer truck. So you can use this for construction sites. You'll see this oftentimes in real life, especially if you live in the United States. I'm sure you've seen one of those, although there are some weird uh, cement mixers where they have like uh, the chute, it's in the front. But this one's just your traditional one. And I've actually done a tutorial of this like a long, long time ago. And that version looked like this back in 2017. So you could see it's been a really long time. Actually, this is actually not the first time I've built this truck. I made a one-to-one -one scale version of it. And then I guess later I converted it to make it bigger. So it's four blocks wide. But now this is like the true size of it, how big it should be. You could see uh, we grew a lot in length. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison you can see between, you know, how far we've come. And I feel like we've improved it a lot. But again, it's been many years since I redesigned this. So, of course, there's going to be a lot of changes. So I hope you guys enjoy the design. You know, it also is a bit asymmetrical here since it has like a little ladder on the side. I've built it based on the best cement mixer company truck, but I made the cab red. Uh, but anyways, let's get started on this build. So first off, let's grab some materials, take out a black wool, a polished blackstone brick slab, and wall, and cyan terracotta, uh, deep slate brick stairs, red concrete, a cracked deep slate tiles, and nether brick fence, iron bar. That's all we can fit right now. So let's make the first wheel. So it's going to be a black wool, place that down. Skip two blocks, add another one, and then a polished blackstone brick slab on top, and then a wall behind it. In the front, we'll add in um, two polished blackstone brick slabs on one side, one on the other, and then red concrete in the corners, the middle, the cracked deep slate brick blocks. And then we'll add in two blocks wide, another brick fence, and then two blocks tall, iron bar, both sides. All right, next we'll add in an item frame for the headlights and an orange bed. We're going to rotate it so the orange is on the outside part. Then we'll add in two blocks wide, polish and site stairs, and then two blocks wide of dark oak sign. Then we'll add a skeleton skull diagonally for the mirrors. And then down below, it's going to be an oak slab. All right, then behind, we're going to add in two blocks wide and terracotta and then on top two blocks wide red concrete and then th four blocks wide red concrete in case of stairs to sides of this then on top it's going to be a red carpet two blocks wide and between the wheels we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab like that and then dark oak fence gates like so then we'll add in um, smooth stone slab three blocks long Add another layer on top of that, then a polished blackstone brick slab, and then we'll add on the inside red concrete, two blocks wide like that, and three blocks long. And then top here, two blocks tall, and then upside down acacia stairs like that. And the other side, we could do the same thing. And then we'll add in black concrete, two blocks wide here blocks tall then a row of four polished blackstone brick uh, walls black glass pane on the back of this and then upside down acacia stairs right over here and then red concrete two blocks tall two blocks wide red concrete here and then we'll add two blocks tall and a site wall spruce fence on top Two blocks wide, black glass block. And then acacia slabs two by four. Then a polished andesite slab four blocks wide. Birch fence to the side with a lever underneath it. Another lever over here, pull that down. Other side, add in that side view mirror as well. And then back onto the side, we'll need an iron um, bar like that. Underneath, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate. Open that up like so. Then we're going to add in a polished blackstone slab, two blocks wide, 
and then two blocks wide, smooth quartz. And then a two by six of polished black stone walls. Three, four, five, and six. Then on to this side. We'll add in a polish and a side slab, make a you know, two by two like this, and then smooth stone slabs like that. And then a polished black stone brick slab and dark oak trap door underneath. I'm going to add in the back wheels. So that's going to be um, skip block black wool. And then skip block black wool and then polished black stone brick wall behind it. As well as stone buttons to the sides of all the wheels. And the other side, I'm going to add in those wheels as well. Just line up the same way. Black stone. Brick uh, walls, stone buttons, the sides of all the wheels. And then in the front, we can add in this um, deep slate brick stairs facing towards the back, right behind the first wheel. Both sides like that. Then we're going to add in a nether brick fence here. A dark oak fence gate right there. Open that up. Towards the inside part, another one here. Open that up. And then a diorite wall right behind the fence gate. All right, then over here, it's gonna be um, smooth quartz block. You know, two blocks wide, and then upside down, smooth quartz stairs facing towards the front, and then facing outwards on the edges. Then stairs facing outwards, top of that wall. And then um, smooth quartz block, four blocks wide over here, and then acacia buttons on the sides of this. All right, then we'll add in a birch fence gate. It's going to be two blocks tall, um, just like that. And then I'm going to turn off my shaders because it's kind of hard to see. It's so, it's so bright. Anyways, next up, uh, actually, we need to change these two blocks here into white concrete, just so a little color difference. Four blocks wide, white carpet like that. And then we'll add in smooth quartz slab, two blocks wide here, and then smooth quartz block. Two blocks wide here, and we're gonna make it five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Side here, we'll add in an iron block like that, both sides, and then smooth quartz stairs facing outwards, and then facing towards the front. Smooth quartz block here, and then two smooth quartz stairs. And the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. Just like so. And then underneath uh, over here, we'll add in smooth quartz block, three blocks long, and then upside down stairs. All right, in the back, we'll do the same thing. And then we'll add in a smooth quartz um, block, two blocks wide here, and then smooth quartz stairs. So that's gonna be two blocks wide, upside down, and then back to back. And then we'll add another side down here, and then a slab over here, and then a birch sign with an iron trap door underneath it. Then we're going to add in a 2x2 two two, smooth quartz slab on top, right in the back, two blocks wide over here. And then a snow layer, it's going to be one layer here, and the other layer is going to be three, three, and then two. So one, two, three. One, two, three, and then two. Eat that same thing, just like that. And underneath here, we'll add in smooth quartz block, two blocks wide, and then a diorite wall, two blocks tall. Other side, same thing, two blocks tall. And then in between the wheels, we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab, two blocks wide for the axles. In the front, we'll add in the dark oak fence gates, two of them open up towards the back. And then over here in the middle, we'll add in dark oak fence gates so that open up, you know, facing towards each other and then facing towards the front, right in the back. And then we'll add in the mud flaps, which is going to be gray banners like that. Then we're going to add in a uh, smooth court stairs upside down, right above this wall. Then smooth court slab. And then a brick slab, and then smooth quartz slab, and then a dark oak sign. 
and the other side will do the same thing pretty much. Stairs, slab, brick slab, slab, and then dark oak sign. Um, just like that. Alright, next up we'll add in two blocks wide, smooth quartz stairs like that. Smooth quartz slab, and the other side do the same thing, so two stairs, slab, and then two blocks wide stairs. Just like that, and right above it we'll add in two by two, smooth quartz block like that. And right here in the back we'll add in two blocks wide, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz block on the inside of this, and then birch fence gate two blocks wide. And then another brick fence right over here. And then an iron trap door right in this little nook or both sides. Then we're going to add in two blocks long, upside down, smooth quartz stairs here. And then smooth quartz slab right there. And then we'll go on the other side, add in a dark oak fence gate here, open it up. And then a spruce fence gate, open it up. Then we're going to add in an acacia fence gate, open that up right there. Alright, so we do need to add in some stairs. I should have done this earlier, but I already placed so many blocks. Uh, so yeah, we're going to temporarily grief this area a little bit so that we can add in two blocks wide. Smooth quartz stairs like that. Then we're going to put back dark oak fence gate in that slab. Alright, then we'll go underneath here, we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab. 2 by 3 right in between where we have those air tanks and boxes. And then we'll go on the other side and add in that dark oak trapdoor right there. Alright, so that should be pretty much it on how to make the truck in Minecraft. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button down below and comment what you guys think about this build and what you're using it for exactly. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can also request it in the comment section down below what you guys want. And subscribe if you had already if you want to be notified of future videos. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.